Hey guys, our function here uh, from New beautiful New Zealand, Whangarei. Had an amazing day today, uh, it was nice and sunny. Um, the trailer for Black Widow dropped, I'm excited. I wasn't excited for the MCU at all and I'm not going to be excited because it's just uh, the way Endgame ended really made me feel, you know, empty, I guess. Um, you know, um, the love for MCU is gone basically um so hopefully maybe seeing uh, black widow the trailer looks amazing hopefully it's not going to be rubbish just gonna you know yeah it's just not going to be rubbish the story's not going to be just rubbish it's actually going to have some good points it's going to have a good plot it's going to hopefully it's going to have a you know a good storyline because you know uh, after endgame I was like, why? <laughs> right? Why why do what you do? Why 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 kill off the main person? Right? Sorry, spoilers guys. But obviously you should have seen it by now. Uh, why make Hulk into an idiot? Alright, just take away everything that makes him Hulk. Hulk smash. Alright, so now you're gonna make him into a glass wearing softy uh you know because that's what's about ba basically thing right now is to make ev every male character into a whiny little you know um and because and here's the thing women actually don't like that <laughs> but hollywood thinks that that's what women want i've actually seen interviews with actual women who actually said look we don't want that sort of thing we want iron man we want captain america we want to see strong male characters and we want to see strong female characters. Not because they're just taking over the roles of males, but because they're actually strong characters in themselves. That's why I love Black Widow, because she's a strong character in herself. And I gravitate towards uh, non-superpowered beings when it comes to uh, comic books. My favorites are, um, let's see, John Constantine, right? Um, Black Widow is a female character. Um, who else? Punisher, no powers. Uh, Batman, right? Totally up there. I can't remember the last two, but yeah. Uh, but those three are my top. So, and they don't have superpowers, right? They just, they just humans with the ability and the know-how and the merit and the. Uh, the work they've done to build up who they are, right? Punisher goes to war, he's a soldier, he goes to war, serves his country, feels like he comes back and whatever happens, you know, I want you to go find out. And obviously you probably by now by watching Netflix and read the comics know what that's all about, so I don't need to inform you that. Um, and also, same thing with Black Widow. Taught how to be that character, taught how to be, you know, uh, raised into that um, environment to be an assassin, uh, to be a spy. So, so if you've got a character like that, that's a strong human character. And so when they killed her off, I felt like, why are you killing the most important female character in the Avengers team, right? Why? Well, because they don't want that. They want to, they want to bring in CM, uh, Captain Marvel, you know, Carol Denvers, um, because, hey, that's the way you got to do things now. you got to kill off the most, every, some, you got to change things that people love. That's the whole thing right now, is to change things that people love, right? Uh, so, you know, you gotta, you got to bring in somebody else and replace somebody else. So I just posted the whole um, the um, Piers Morgan video about how he's reacting to James Bond, where they're trying to replace it with a female character. Why not? have an actual female character introduced as another um, 007 or double, not 007, sorry, 006, 4567, I mean, minus a seven, right? Because that's his ID. So his identity, right? We know who he is, James Bond, 007, and that's what, that, that's what matters, right? Because we know for whew, maybe about 25 movies so far that James Bond is James Bond, Jim. 
right? We know he's a male Caucasian guy, right? He has built, there's a history behind it. Uh, I can't even remember, uh, Ian Fleming, there we go. I've read the books, right? Growing up as a kid, as a teenager, I've read the actual novels for, um, you know, for I think about 50% of them or maybe more of the novels of James Bond uh, and the character there. So you've got like all these years, I don't know, maybe 50 years or something, certain 60s, right? So of history behind James Bond. So you know who he is and why he is the way he is to serve queen and country, all right? So, got the window open, sorry guys, uh, I'm cooking food and so flies flying around, excuse me for that. So, why people like to change things now isn't because it's a good idea, that it's a good idea or something, it's because that's what they want, they think that's what everybody wants, they don't know the audience, they don't know what we want, right? When you're sitting there in the theatre, they just want to spoon feed you and think this is what you want. But they don't actually go out and do the research and say to the average Joe blog on the street, who do you think should be James Bond? Do you think you want a female James Bond? And why should, do you think that? Or why don't you think that? They don't. They just sit there and go, good idea. The reason for that is, as, as you know, I'm a, I create comic books and I've done films. I've gone to film school. Is because it's a cheap cop-out. That's all it is. It's, there's nothing else to it. That's why we use stereotypes, right? So as I was trying to explain to a friend, that if you get an in, if you want an Indian in, in your film, you know straight away he's gonna you want him to speak in a specific voice, right? So you gotta you know that he's an Indian. You're not gonna have him as a normal human being who enjoys life, who loves family, who loves his friends, who loves to hang out, have a beer, go chill out, go to work, go to the beach. Not that person. You want someone who has a a, a, a ethnic. Uh, stereotypical voice so he's going to twist his head around he's going to do his hand movements and that's an Indian so I've always hated that but at least it's in there but now as we got into a point it's like no well come on world now you know that people don't not you know everybody has nuances not everybody speaks like that the you know Indians are everywhere in the world so you know such as Asian so you can't always say this is such and such and this is such and such so when you start replacing a male character who is a specific uh, ethnicity or uh, sex or whatever, you know, I've already said this, um, male character, or female character, let's say we take Resident Evil and we, uh, we change that character into a male character now. Everybody's going to be in up in arms. So why don't we make uh, Ripley, like they said, into a male, right? Aliens into a male. Because it's about Ripley as a female, right? It's about her being a female. So that's what we want, because we love that character. So we will, we will go to it. The reason I say it's a cop-out is because there's a following for it. There's a huge 25 movie, 50 year, plus the books following for this character. So when you've got this character that's got this huge history, a, a devoted fan base, a, uh, a franchise, a merchandise, uh, all the, you know, all the DVDs that's out, all the movies, generations of people have watched it, grown up watching it. So you're going to think, well, the easiest way to get this audience and all that money that brings to the ticket is just, you know, just keep that name, keep that title, James Bond, but when we go in, will change the character into a female or into an Indian. Imagine James Bond being an Indian. I wouldn't want that. Seriously, as an Indian, I would not want James Bond to be an Indian or an Asian. I would like to have James Bond 004 or 003 or 0800 or 9 or 10 be some an Indian. Or I don't even want an, James Bond Indian. But if you want to do that, do that. Leave James Bond 007 alone as James Bond, right? Have somebody else be a 00 something something. Why change that? Like I said, it's a cop out. It's easy storytelling. You're taking something that's already established and just switching it around because you want the audience, you want the money, and you don't want to do the work, right? Um, as someone who's creating shit all the time, excuse my language. I, I'm passionate about this because 
it takes a lot of effort to build up an IP and create something that is unique to that specific character, that identifies with that character, that is strongly about that character. And then you have somebody take away that um, and change it to something else. It's an easy cop-out and that it's lazy writing. It's, it's basically just saying, gee, you did all that hard work of 60, 70 years of work, but me here right now, 60, 70 years later, don't care. I'm just going to take that and switch it around. All right? And the whole point of that is, it is a cop-out. It's, it's basically taking other people's work and ruining it, because we know that the following is going, well, hey, we don't want this. I don't even want Idris Elba as a 007. All right? I'd rather have him as a 006. If he was going to be in it, hey, J James, hey, this is 006. Um, you know, why don't we introduce him into this movie as a, you know, as, as a side actor or whatever, you know, as a new character into it. Give him about 20 minutes of film time and then come in and go, hey, you know what? We're going to give a 006, Idris Elba 006 movie. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing, right? Because then you're creating a whole new IP around another person, but you won't. And Hollywood won't because it's, it's, it's about money and shortcuts to what you want to do. Right, you want the money, but you don't want to do the work. It's like, uh, you know, it's like basically um, having all this IP around Star Wars, but you don't want to take George Lucas's, Lucas's work and ask him how to finish it, because you want all the name brand recognition, you want all the franchise following, you want all the devoted fans who will buy all that shit that's out there, and then you just go, well, you know what? We're going to create our own stuff over it. We're going to use a name, right? All the important names. We're going to use all the important. Uh, things that, about it, right? We're going to have the characters in it, but we're going to change it to make like ours because now it's ours. And that's just brand recognition 101, right? Because it's Star Wars. So you're going to have a huge following. So you're going to have at Christmas time, no matter what, you know, two weeks, no matter what, people are still going to go there on that day and watch it, even if it's horrible. They will go because they want to finish watching it, right? Because it's what they've watched the other two, so they're just gonna go. Even if it's trash, and I'm hoping it's not, but even if it's trash, people still show up and spend the money. Now, so back to character design. It's hard work designing a character that's unique, right? James Bond didn't just happen overnight, right? We don't, we don't even follow. Like I said, I've read the James Bond books, right? Way back when, 30 years ago, I was reading James Bond books, right? Going to secondhand shops and buying um, like paperbacks. Little thin novellas, right? And then, you know, 50, 50 cents a dollar, finding them. Just like with Conan. I read the blanks. So remember, how about turning Conan into a black man? How we do that? Right? Make him Kamala or Kamar. Or Kumar. Hey, why don't we have Kumar the Barbarian now? Right? And, and you know, and have him worshiping in Ram. Right? Hey, that's a good idea. Kumar the Barbarian worshiping Ram instead of Krom. Right? Because it's cheap. But there's an idea if you want to take it, right? So if you want to create anything unique, invest a freaking time into it. If you want to introduce a female um, female um, 003, a Bond, not actually James Bond, but if you want to introduce a new character that you want to take off onto another franchise, do that. Same with Doctor Who, look, look, all right? If you want to bring a female Doctor Who into the universe, bring back Romana. Right? I'm just watching the old series of Doctor Who right now, and I'm loving Romana. Right? She's a, she's a uh, Gallifreyan. Right? She comes in. She's a different um, person. She's, uh, and um, she looks different. And then they switch. And now it's a different person altogether. And now, you know, it's the same name. She actually regenerates from one, ep one uh, set of stories. I think it was only four episodes. So it's about 120 minutes. Of episode, she switches to the character to the person that was in that um, on the four episodes prior. She goes, she comes and she goes, Do you like this? You know, do you like this? No, do you like this character? No, no, the, no, no. And then she goes back and goes, oh, What about this? He goes, Okay, yeah, this. And now we have Romana as this one person, right? And she's amazing. Like, I, I just, you know, because it's been so long since I've seen that. Um, maybe. 30 years, no, maybe even 35 years since I've seen Doctor Who, those episodes, season 18, I think it was 16 and 17, 18, 
where she's in it. And she's basically this amazing, strong, funny, and straight up character that tells off Doctor Who all the time, right? She's always on his case and she and he goes, uh, I, you know, I could have thought of that. She goes, yeah, if you had enough time, <laughs> right? It, it's just funny as hell. And she's just this amazing character. So why not have that? Why not have that? Because it's a cheap trick. It's, it's basically you want the audience without doing the work. Why don't you have a whole new uh, Dr. Romana? Right? I would buy that. I'd watch that. Bring in Jodie Whittaker as Dr. Romana. I mean, yeah, you know, bring her as Dr. Romana or whatever you want to call her. Find her last name. All right? Dr. Watt, you know. Oh, we already have a Dr. Watson. So, you know, um, why not do that? Because it's brand recognition. You want the box, right? You want the telephone box. It's been around for 60 odd years or maybe more now, right? And you want the name, brand recognition. You want your screwdrivers. And guess what? She actually made her own screwdriver, right? And I think it was in episode 18, she made her own, uh, sorry, season 18, she made her own screwdriver. I think it was the Nightmare of, of Eden. Yeah, it was a Nightmare of Eden ser um, uh, set of stories, episodes. And she, uh, you know, she goes, this is this, you know, she goes, oh, I've got my own, don't worry about it. And, he, and she goes, can I have a look? She looks at it and she, and he, on purpose, gives her back, because it's her one's better, gives her, gives him his one, gives her his one. And she goes, uh -huh, doctor, uh, you've got my one. And he sort of goes, tries to pass it off, you know, as it's like it was a mistake, but he's trying to take the bet on. So this is this amazing character. So why not use that character? That's because they don't care. All right, they just don't care. And you you see this with um, with, uh, with MCU. You see this with um, with Doctor Who. You see this with Star Wars. And it's taken me a while to look at all this, and you know because I don't like to just speak my mouth out without thinking about things a lot more and researching a bit more. So, so let's go back to MCU, right? Because the trailer dropped today about Black Widow. So Black Widow, um, basically, we all wanted 99.9% of all Avengers, Iron Man, you know, all the, the last 10 years of uh, decade of, um, or more of um, MCU watches, Marvel Comics. Uh, fans and watchers wanted a Black Widow movie because we know how much that character is loved and we know how much she is amazing so far in all the movies. She's such a strong, willed, strong, action oriented fun character. She's got a humor to her and she's very caring and she's very motherly, right? So she's worried about all the other guys as well. Uh, so much so that she sacrifices herself. Now, if I remember right, uh, is it Namora? I think it's Namora that was in the books was supposed to sacrifice herself. Uh, or is it Gamora? I think it is. And um, in the Infinity Gauntlet in the comic books, not Black Widow. But guess what? They had to kill off Black Widow. For what? Cheapness. They could have taken Gamora there instead. Of, forgive me if I'm wrong between the two characters. I always get mixed up. Right? Um, in names, not in persons. So instead of taking that person along with uh, Hawkeye, and going, "Hey Hawkeye, why don't we? You go with, you know, why don't you go with Gamora or whatever, or, or um, a Namora, uh, her sister, anyway." So, but no, you know what? We don't want this person in the MCU. We don't want you. The character that you guys all love, ninety-nine point nine percent of you guys love. We hate you enough to kill this character that you love, right? We know that, okay, we're, I'm okay with um, Iron Man sacrificing himself because that's very important because a man will always sacrifice themselves for, it, for a woman. As we saw on London Bridge, right? Man jumps out and goes out and tries to stop the guy. There was no females around. And I'm not being sexist here. I'm just saying, right? So the, the males went out and they died, two of them, right? trying to stop the guy from knifing. So you know that man will always lay down their life 
before children and women all the time. It's just in our psyche to just defend. Doesn't matter who the hell it is. I've walked into fights, right? Skinny old um, chicken leg, uh, you know, me has walked in the middle of 100 people and tried to stop a fight because I saw, because there were teenagers fighting. And I thought, I'm going to defend, make sure that the youngest one there who's getting beaten up isn't going to get hurt. Little old me, right? Skinny old me. You know, because that's in our psyche, right? So that's why I think the whole sacrifice of uh, Iron Man is good and right. But ruining Thor, I can't forgive that. A fat slob of a Thor who's supposed to be the god of thunder. And you ruin that character, I can't, I can't forgive that. And then you go along and you ruin Hulk as well. All right? You make him into basically uh, the words I want to say. I, I, I don't want to, you know, I won't say. All right. So I use this person. Right. He's all he's all sciencey and all that, but that's that's not who he is. That's Banner. So you don't make Thor into that. All right. So I'm done with Hulk. I'm done with Thor. Uh, you know and the only thing that I want to see is Black Widow because I, I've always wanted to watch see Black Widow. Uh, and that's the movie I wanted to see as part of the whole MCU that they don't give us, right? Um, so having the trailer come out, I'm hoping that the movie isn't going to be crapped on. That the people who, who the person who, because they came out and said about no guns, no guns, it's a freaking spy movie, right? With assassins, a thriller action. What are you gonna do, right? Uh, karate chop everybody, make a ninja movie, right? You already got there with Sanchi, so, so, you know, basically. So you've got. I'm done with the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with Thor, and I'm obviously done. With, haven't even watched Captain Marvel. I just never will, right? The only thing I think I've got of her is a movie poster because it's my, I've, I collect movie posters to do with comic books and sci-fi and fantasy. So it's my collection. That's there. Um, so, you know, so the idea here is that, getting back to my point, is that change, gender changing, identity changing, race changing is only going to hurt what you're building it's never gonna fix it it's not gonna make it better because you're gonna have people that are loyal that would have spent money on it hundreds of dollars on, on merchandising and stuff afterwards right see if, if black widow is good i want statues and i want t-shirts right uh and i want the comic books if it's not that's it i, I won't spend money on it all right I won't even spend money uh, get anything of Hulk, a Hulk now because Mark Ruffalo is a piece of crap, basically, with his opinions. Like my opinions. You you may not even like my opinions. Hey, it's my opinions, but I stand by them. Right? So the idea is that if you're out there just taking something that somebody else has created, and remember, James Bond is a British character. And he's been around for 60 odd years plus. From the books, from in influence books, all the way to the movies. And as, as you notice, they've slowly eroded the character for the last two movies. That you, I don't even remember Daniel Craig or whoever was in the last one. I don't remember the importance of this movie. I know Doctor No. I know the movies that came in, um, in the 80s. I know the ones that came out in the 90s. I don't care for the last three, two, three movies. Uh, I've seen, I think I've seen about maybe 22 of all the James Bond movies. Because I love them. My dad, when I was a teenager, we had View to a Kill. And here's the thing. Grace Jones, whose name I haven't mentioned in 30 odd years. I remember Grace Jones. From View to a Kill. Right? That's how good those freaking movies are. Do you remember who was in the last two, three movies? Females that were in the last couple movies of James Bond? Right? So... Right, um, 
gosh, you look at the um, the James Bond actors, amazing actors. Sean Connery um, was just brilliant. I can't remember the one just the names um, of before him. You guys will probably know, but you know, uh, it's just these are iconic actors doing iconic role, and then you want to crap all over it. Why? Oh well, because you know this is what we do right now. This is this is what we this is the thing in the culture that we do right now. It's important to show respect. It's t about time. Then create a new character. I can do it. Right? If I can do it, create a new character. Anybody can create a new character. But the reason they don't is because they want shortcuts to the money. They want short. Uh, they want to get their points to show hey how good we are now we're going to make james Bond into female are we going to make uh james bond black are we going to make uh you know we're going to make so and so asian um you know are we going to make a work charlie's angel guess what? or a terminator look at how much movie they make people don't want rubbish they don't want you changing what the movie's about they don't want it they don't want you changing the fact that it's supposed to be action you don't want to be this. I don't want to give away the plot to, to Terminator, but nobody's watching Terminator. So, Sean, uh, James, uh, John Connor dies in the first five minutes. The whole franchise is built around saving John Connor. So why would you watch, the, watch something that the whole thing's about? Right? Why? Be there's no reason to watch it because... James Con oh, John, um, John Connor's dead, so there's no point for Terminator. So all the movies that came before have no meaning to them at all, right? Excuse me. But why don't you take another character, part of the Terminator universe, and create a whole franchise around that? Call it Shermanator or whatever right or something else but it's lazy it's laziness and people that these people in hollywood they're lazy they like these guys get millions of dollars to write lazy stories that's it i mean seriously i mean i went to film school so i know how the whole process works right when it comes to movie movie writing how to write scripts how to do stereotypes you know you get told uh, first act, second act, third act, resolution. This, at, in five minutes, you set up an incident, right? That's that's incident. Five five minutes in, you kill John Connor. That's your incident. Now you're going to talk about how you're going to fix that. Then you got to... Then, around about uh, about third act, the, um, the hero is basically going to go, oh, I just can't do this. I, oh, man, I'm not good enough to handle this. You know, I don't think I'm going to have it. And then somebody comes up, hey, bud, you know, or hey, uh, Black Widow, you know, um, you know, you can do this. It's a three-act structure, man. That's the way it works. It's easy. And the reason why, uh, you know, good stories work and why people would, without, why I think, I haven't seen Joker, so I'll, I'll talk about Joker when we see it. Right, uh, Rico? And because I missed out seeing it because I was waiting for um, someone to watch it with me and by the time I got, got around to it, it was already off um, the cinema. So we're waiting on DVD. And to watch it. So, so that, yeah, so the reason Joker works and why these other movies don't work, because it's a good story. The story is pinnacle to what you're trying to do. If you don't have a good story, what's the point? Right? So if you want to, you want to put in politics into the movie, fine, put it in. But the story has to be good. If you want to say the movie's for someone, then do it for someone. Don't turn around and say then it was for somebody else and they didn't like it. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hopeful and fingers crossed that the movie, because it's coming out in May, it's my birthday, so I'll be 47. Uh, I'm, I can't, I don't know how I got to 46. 20 years is just gone, right? Um, but that's basically 20 years experience, right? Uh, art school, um, film school, six years of drama, writing drama on stage, 
right? Acting in them, directing them, producing them, right? Making short films, making feature films, all that stuff, right? Now into comic books. Uh, hopefully those comic books become movies. But hey, who knows? Who cares? Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. But when it comes to comes to these sort of things, story is pinnacle to what you want to do. Make your characters as good as you can. Make them unlike anybody else. And if they're like somebody else, change things around. And copying is fine. But don't try to uh, reduce it to, a number, to a, about politics or about gender or about race. Because if, you, if you're going to get that, you're going to have a minimal amount of people watching. Right? You're not going to have a whole bunch of people watching it. You're not going to make your money. Just like Charlie's Angels, she went out and said, this is what it's about. And if it fails, then it's men's fault. Well, you said it was for somebody else. So your movie failed. So you basically made, what, eight, uh, $12 million? Actually, no, it flopped. I think it was a movie that's... Um, made for $40 million, probably spends about another 10 to $20 million promoting it. So if you don't make that 10 to $20 million back, it's a write-off. So the only thing you can say is, I need a tax rebate. That's only one to win because it didn't make money. But if you got a good story, it'll stand the test of time. Look at Spider-Man, still around. Look at James Bond, still around. Look at... Uh, Look at Black Widow when it was... I can't remember who created Black Widow. But she's been around for a long time. People like things that are good. Captain Marvel, Marvel comics aren't selling. The, the movie might have made a um, billion dollars because of, she was stuck in between right, Infinity Wars and Endgame. If you had a Captain... Um, um, if you had a Black Widow movie, this movie... In there, you would have made about half, one and a half billion. Because that's how loved that character is. Not a no-name character that nobody likes. Right? In the comic books. Because now she's got flat chest. If you look at the... Oh, sorry, I don't know how we're going to do this one. But if you... Like the post I put up, right? That she looks like Kid Rock. She even has a Kid Rock hat. Uh, and it's actually when you look at the pictures of Kid Rock, it's like the, the hair is like Kid Rock. And it's just, it's not what the original character looked like. So you'll find that these people who are rewrite, rewriting all these sort of woke virtue signaling characters now or, or changing them to, for the, here's the thing, politics change, man. Remember that. Politics change. People's opinions change over time. So the sh shit you make today might not be like tomorrow, but if you write a good stuff today for everyone, not for a specific group, you'll find that it'll stand, it'll stand the test of time, even after the person creator is gone. Rest in peace, Stanley. Right? So, yeah. So, if that's all I got to say, right? If you, if you, if you, if you want to create something, make sure it's unique. You can take something that's already there. Change it around, but make it unique to you, not to some. Not don't write it for someone else. Write it for you, and then add the other things to it. Because if you don't write it for you, then why are you writing it anyway? Because it's for you, right? If you're writing for somebody else, but write it out of where you're coming from. Get a story out, but don't just write it for somebody else because you think that's a good idea. A good idea without a good story is not going to get you the following for 50, 60 years, right? I want to be able to create something that's going to be still around when I'm dead, right? Because there's no reason to create something just for now, right? Otherwise, it'll just be sitting in the corner. Nobody will care about it. Nobody will hear about it. But if you write a good stuff and put all the effort into a good story and put all the effort into making sure it's for everybody, right? Unless you're doing a mature book then do it for that. Then you have your 18 to 35 year olds watching it or whatever. But if you're writing for kids, like Spider-Man is, for all ages, it'll last a bit. It'll last forever. Kids will all over the world like they do. India, China. I'm not sure if they're allowed to do them anymore in China. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah because, you know, they're changing the movies around to suit it for China. 
So you'll have kids in China wearing Spider-Man costumes, right? As, as well as people in Samoa or in Fiji wearing them, in New Zealand, wherever. Because it stands the test of time. It's a good character that's lovable for everybody. So if you if you are creating and you're watching my things, uh, reading my comics, uh, and Critter Girls out today, the first on the next page. If you know, if I spend a lot of time on that, I don't just go, hmm, blah blah blah. Yeah, that sounds right. I actually go in and invest the time, and I sit there and go back at it, go back at it, go back at it, go back at it, and I look at it and I go, hmm. Yeah, that, there's a spelling mistake. Change that. Oh, that line's not right. I'll change that. The mouth doesn't look right. Just a little bit. There's not right. Or the eye's not right. Change that. So you, I'm not just chucking stuff out. So you, if you want to, if you want something to last long, you got to make sure that it's going somewhere. That you have an end goal and you have a reason to get there. You don't just want to just put out. You know, as they say, uh, phone it in. You don't want to phone it in because if you phone it in. It'll be like The Last Jedi, right? People won't like it. They'll hate it. It's like you can tell it's just like rubbish. Or like Solo. It's just, pff, you know, it was that. I, I don't even know. I can't remember when it came out. Maybe 2017, 2018. Um, you know, but, you know, you just got to make sure that if you're creating something that you love at first, but then you've got to make sure that other that there's something in it that other people love as well. So that's all I gotta say. Kakite ano. Thank you for watching. Hey, um, if um check out um I've started putting these videos up on my uh YouTube page. And also I'm doing my Patreon page, so it's all under malfunction. Um check it out, I'll put the link in there. <laughs> now I'm shilling for my own channel. Anyway, <laughs> video. Uh, but it's gonna it's gonna be up there. So and also, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna try to do this weekly now. I was thinking about doing it monthly, but there's so much happening that like I start putting out text and I got it's getting a bit long there in that comment, you know. So I'll just do a video. Thank you, Kakiteano, malfunctioner. Ciao.